Subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. Jerome Miller says that Anthony Joshua has never fought anybody, anybody like him. He says he's going to be doing better against Anthony Joshua than Vladimir Klitschko did, than Joseph Parker did, than Alexander Povekian did, because Anthony Joshua simply has not fought anyone like him before, right? He's never fought somebody as big as him, 300 pounds, massive, <laughs> massive heavyweight, right? He's never fought someone who applies pressure like him, right? Now, um... Him and, and Vladimir Klitschko are two totally different styles. I mean, Vladimir Klitschko has that classic, you know, European type of uh, style. Uh, that a lot of guys who come from Germany fight the way Vladimir Klitschko fights. You know, from who come from like that part of the world where they fight like with a jab. They have a, they normally have good jabs, kind of like a uh, Victor Posto, another guy. I think he's from the Ukraine as well. Uh, they they have that type of style, that type of stance. Um, you know, he's a guy, Vladimir Klitschko has always been a guy who's been known for, like, his jab, right? If you can't get past Vladimir Klitschko's jab, the fight's over. You lost. But he's always been known as a guy who dominates his opponent with a jab. Now, that's not what Jero Big Baby Miller's known for. Miller is not a guy who uses his jab like that. Miller is more a guy who is a pressure fighter, right? He's a pressure fighter who comes forward, um... Like, there's two, they're, they're two totally different styles. Um, like, if I'm just, like, thinking, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, I'm trying to compare their styles. But, like I said, Vladimir Klitschko was more of a guy that would keep you at the end of his jab, right? And if he kept, if, if he had his opponent at the end of his jab, he would, feel, he would feel very happy there, having his opponent there. And he'll dominate his opponent there, right? But when it comes to Miller, he's more of a guy that tries to... Uh, just impose his size. So, you know, there was things that Vladimir Klitschko did that Jerome Miller can't do. And there's things that Jerome Miller does that Vladimir Klitschko d didn't do. For example, I don't think Vladimir Klitschko was ever a good inside fighter uh, because he never really fought on in the inside. Vladimir Klitschko was never really an inside fighter. When did you ever see Vladimir Klitschko do a Holyfield or, you know, a Gennady Golovkin? He was, he was never really that guy to stalk his opponent. He was more of a guy, like I said, who would have his opponent behind the jab, you know. So uh, when it comes to what uh, Jerome Miller has to say, will he do better against uh, Anthony Joshua than Vladimir Klitschko did? I mean, what do you guys think? Uh, do I think he's going to do better than Vladimir Klitschko? Uh, no, just because he doesn't have the experience that Vladimir Klitschko has, obviously. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko had several years experience more than someone like Anthony Joshua. Uh he had fought several styles. So he knew, you know, he had been he had fought in the highest level of boxing many times. So all this experience helped him out against Anthony Joshua. Uh that's not gonna be the case with uh Joe Miller. He don't have that experience that Vladimir Klitschko has. Um like I said I do think that he might do good in the second half of the fight. That's just how I look at it, you know I think that in the second half of this fight with Joshua, that's where you might see his best work, Joe Miller. Just and that and the only reason I'm thinking that, and 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 again, you know, he might not even make it to the second half of the fight because Anthony Joshua might stop him early, right? Because a lot of people are telling me that well, maybe Anthony Joshua is probably going to get rid of him him in two rounds, and if that happens, he'll never get into the fight. But you know, for some reason, I keep thinking that if this fight goes to the second half of the fight. That's when Jerome Miller, I mean, Anthony Joshua might start fading just because he's going to have to keep Anthony Joshua, I mean, Jerome Miller off him the whole fight, the whole night. Uh, but somebody and somebody told me, you know, but Jerome Miller has never fought. I mean, he's never felt the power of Anthony Joshua before. Uh, he's never fought somebody as big of a puncher. So how long could he uh, last before he gets knocked down? And I do think that person has a point. Uh, he hasn't fought anyone with the power of Anthony Joshua. And that's why I'm, I'm curious myself. Like, how long will it take? I mean, how long? I mean, how well can Joe Rimmler take Anthony Joshua's best punches? Um, um, I'm, I'm just curious. This is a fight where I'm just, I'm, I'm just a curious fan, a curious boxing fan. I'm curious for to see just how good Joe Rimmler does. You know, that's all I'm curious about in this fight. 
You know what I'm saying? Most people are picking Anthony Joshua to win, and I understand that. I understand why he should win. He should win because he is a unified champion, and he has more experience than Joe Miller, and he's the better fighter. I think he does have a better technique and better form, and he's in better shape. He keeps himself in better shape than than Joe Miller, so he should win. So, uh, but like I said, when it comes to Joe Miller, I just want to see how he performs against Anthony Joshua. Um, and that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm out.